Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. Today we'll be discussing the topic of various ear positions, ear language if you will, and what those ear positions mean. We'll cover five. And before we do, let's take a look at this important topic overview. Cats can swivel their ears up to 180 degrees and adopt many different ear positions. A cat with its ears facing forwards is happy, relaxed, and contented. If a cat's ears point straight up, it is alert and curious about what's going on around it. Ears turned back or sideways indicate that a cat is feeling scared or anxious. Cats with their ears low and facing out are likely to be feeling unwell. If a cat has one ear folded or down, it's feeling confused and unsure of what to make of its situation. So, one ear down means confused and unsure. Yeah, that's probably... That's probably me on a daily basis attempting to understand my very own cats. So, as you can tell from that overview, cats wear so many of their emotions on their ears. You just have to know what to look for. Cats are quite genius when it comes to hiding certain aspects of how they're feeling at any given time. But if you know that all-important ear language, you can put the puzzle together more times than not. Before we put our ears to the information today, we thank you so much for joining us. Your time and your support are everything, and we are always grateful for both. So thank you very much. Now, let's get started. 32 is the number of importance, and no, we're not talking about Magic Johnson's glory days with the Los Angeles Lakers. 32, that is the number of muscles a cat has in each ear, five times the number of us humans. This certainly explains why cats can do so many things with those ears and why almost every emotional response can be put on physical display with just a few movements. What are the five core ear positions that your feline can assume? Let's check them all out. Facing forward ears are the neutral ears. More times than not, and by a wide margin, this is what you'll see from your cat when all is well. We're happy, relaxed, not under threat. Just a normal day in the neighborhood, this is when your cat is in a friendly mood. This means that a petting session is welcome, a meal, some treats, some toys. It certainly all depends on your cat, but ears in this position typically give you the green light. Life is good. Let's always hope for this appearance. As an owner, this is what you're aiming for every day, if you can get it. Next is ears straight up, or the spiky ear, whatever you'd like to call it, the goalpost ears for those sports fans that are viewing today. This is a display of interest, not fear, just we're at attention here, we're Paying close attention, we're listening up for life and thinking of the next move. This is also the curious ear position. While attention to noises can cause a slight swivel, the straight ear is an alert ear. This is in many ways a neutral position, although if interest is peaked in a negative way, this ear language can change. And what is that change if the vibes are negative? Those ears can get turned back. Pin your ears back. More sports in today's video. Pin those ears back and blitz the quarterback. Well, we're actually not far off. If your cat has pinned ears, there's a good chance all is not right in the neighborhood as this ear position is one of anger and or fear. This also means that some type of direct action could be taken and perhaps taken against you. Your cat could leap, run, become aggressive, etc. It all depends on just what's going on. Dilated pupils in a crouched body position are typical hallmarks that also occur when this pinned ear posture is taking place. So, tread lightly. It's best to keep your hands away. You could get swiped across the arm. If you can eliminate whatever is causing this emotion, please do so as soon as possible. Low positioned ears that are facing out is often the calling card of illness, unfortunately. Some type of unwellness has set in. As we noted, cats are pros when it comes to hiding their health woes. And this is instinctual, as to not give anything away to a potential predator. However, the ears can spill the truth in some cases. Illness, distress, uneasiness, depression. When things aren't right, you'll see the down ears. This is why paying close attention to your cat's behavior is indeed so critical. Once you notice the down ears, pay attention to everything in the following hours or even following days. If your cat seems to be hiding away, lethargic, refusing to eat, drink, etc., a vet visit could be in order. The sooner a diagnosis is made, the sooner the situation could be potentially rectified. Even if it's something minor in the long term, you should never take any chances. This is especially true if your feline is of senior status. 
The fifth ear position, and of the five that we'll cover today, is that of the one ear down. This is the confusion and the uncertainty that I joked about early in the video. The one ear can appear when something shifts your cat's attention and your feline is trying to pick which something is important, the most important. Sort of like when you're looking at something and you say, whoa, what was that? In that moment, something has shifted your attention. It doesn't have to be scary or nervous, but it's a curious moment. Cats that are in new environments also assume this one ear position from time to time. They're not quite sure, so one ear down is an investigative posture in some cases. However, it should also be noted that one ear down could be a health issue, an injured ear or an ear infection. If you notice that one ear down is more of a perpetual position rather than an in-the-moment posture, be proactive and get your pet checked out as soon as possible. And on that note, that will wrap things up for the video portion of this material. However, if you'd like to know more, we do invite you to head on over to SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of this video. There you will find a highly detailed article that is dedicated to everything we've covered here today and a bit more. So if you'd like to take a deeper dive, we certainly invite you. Are you currently watching us offside? If so, we also invite you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the goods. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.